Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Corp. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm gonna be walking around today and showing you some of the basics on your new Arctic Wolf fifth wheel. We do appreciate your business and we're gonna try to answer any questions you might have and show you how this fifth wheel works. So one of the first things you wanna do is once you get to the campground, you wanna turn on this battery disconnect switch. Without this switch on, you're not gonna have 12 volt power to the rest of the camper. Notice that button back there, that is your solar charger. You do wanna make sure that's reading on as well. If that's powered off, your batteries aren't being charged, just so you're aware. Good way to test that is, like I just did earlier here, push these two together, the green light comes on, that lets you know you've got 12 volt power for things like the jacks. Simply push the buttons. The instructions are right there, which will kind of walk you through the basic operation of the jacks. As we walk around the camper, one of the first things you're gonna notice is you got propane tanks on either side of the camper. Righty tighty shuts those off, lefty loosey will open those up. We're gonna notice a green indicator light on the other side, letting us know that propane's actually flowing through the lines. There's your sewer hose, your electrical adapter for the camper. Incredible basement pass-through storage on this model. Absolutely love this model. Exterior shower is located hot and cold right behind there. This is where we fill our fresh water tank, our cable connections. This is our city water connection where our white water drinking hose hooks up. And this is when we wanna flush the black tank. Our discharge valves are located right at the bottom. We always empty sewage first and we follow it up with gray. So we will pull the gray afterwards to flush out the line. Hot water heater here, really nothing you should have to do from the outside. Hot water heaters operate from the inside. You just wanna make sure that plug is in the hot water heater so that you know you can get uh, um, water into it and it won't drain out on you. You keep the little ones away from the furnace and the hot water heater as they can become hot with the exhaust. Also, it's a good idea to check your tires after the first 250 miles because the lug nuts can become loose and for safety reasons, we wanna make sure they're secure. You do have a front and back discharge on this, of course, because it's got a front and back bathroom to it. This is where we hook up your 25 foot 50 amp power cord. Why is it 50 amps? 50 amps because you have two air conditioners. If you go to electrical service and you only hook up to one power source with 30 amps, you're only gonna be able to operate one air conditioner at a time. Your outside camp kitchen is right behind this door uh, here. Your jacks, those are auto leveled with that front control we were talking about. This is a black tank flush for the back bathroom for you. Let's walk you inside here. Show you the rest of this incredible camper. As we walk inside, we come across this keypad. It's motion activated, so it's gonna automatically turn itself on. It, it realizes that we're here. These controls will control your in and out of your slides, your awnings, the levels for your various tanks. It'll turn on your interior lights by pushing these. When they go blue, it means those lights are on. Your 110 for your, for your hot water heater is controlled from here. Want to turn on your air conditioner? We're going to toggle through that right here. Fan, air conditioner right there. We'll kick that on. This just lets you know your solar panel is working and it's charging the system. Our wonderful little in-command system, a lot of our same functions we have switches for are controlled through this keypad. We can scan this QR code into our phone and control quite a few of these functions actually from our phone. But to operate these, all we simply have to do is touch the keypad. Uh, it'll kick over, whether we're talking about levelers, exterior lights, and then we can adjust things from here. So real simple operation for most of the stuff. We do have motion sensor lights throughout the camper, just like in the bathroom. So late at night, those will come on if you walk by. The little green light on the 110 outlet tells you that's properly working. That will either turn red or go black if that has been tripped. That is a ground fault outlet. It's designed to protect the camper. We do have a front air conditioner in this as well. So we have an additional thermostat that's located right here. On the bottom here, you've got your breaker and fuse box. This is where all your breakers, well, it's being temperamental there, but anyway, our 110 breakers are behind there. Our fuses are behind there. Fuses are for a 12 volt, 110 is our breakers. Our keys are located around our kitchen faucet. So always look for that when you come right inside the camper. When you go to operate your stove, real simple operation. See the spark igniter next to that burner assembly. All we're gonna do is turn those on and then we spark ignite it, look at that, it comes right on for us. 
Our refrigerator is wonderful. It can be powered by our solar panel. Our temperature adjustments are right there. Directions, of course, are in there as well. Microwaves, I think, is pretty straight forward. On and off fan switch for our lights and overhead hood. We do have cable poles for our uh, recliners. They're located in the side of the recliner right here. Our blinds are real simple to operate, guys. Always a good idea to grab the blinds in the center when we want to operate those. They operate very, very smooth. Reminder that your lights, if there's not a switch on the wall, simply push the button in the center of the light to activate and operate those lights. This unit does have a wonderful little fireplace in it. It is controlled for these switches down here. This is our power button to turn it on. We can adjust the mood setting of the lighting, adjust temperature and the timer as well, and then that shuts it off. Wonderful little bunk room here, you guys. You guys, again, this is John from Lakeshore V Center. We do appreciate your business. Please give us a call if you have any additional questions. You can reach me at 231-740-6225. Thank you and have a great day.